Hello everybody out there and welcome back here with the future once again to another showcase and review for everybody here. Actually it's an opening and review I have over the graphics, block tech, block kits. Um, actually I sold these at Dollar General today and um, I already had one um, but then I decided to pick up another one of these. There's actually four in the entire set. Um, they're like a cheaper version of Legos as you'll see and um, they are compatible with the other leading brands too, so you know they're compatible with Legos and whatnot. They look a lot like Lego figures, as you'll see here. But I'm interested to bust them open and check out what they're all about. I want to thank anybody who subscribed lately, dropped any kind of comments, left any kind of feedback. I really appreciate it. If this is your first time viewing, make sure you do all that I just mentioned. And it's much appreciated, all the support here on my channel. Um, but yeah, we're going to take an interesting look at these, but before I do that, make sure you go check out SEO Toys, um, super out, ex, the super exciting outrageous toy reviews. My friend Kevin um, has his channel over there. He does a great job. Um, he's actually at the New York Toy Fair 2018 right now, and um, I encourage everybody to go check out his coverage from the New York Toy Fair 2018 because he's really doing a great job on capturing all the cool stuff that's coming out here. Um, in the uh, following months here in 2018 and so on um, some really cool stuff from Reaction, you know super 7 Funko um, the reaction figures are just Unbelievable that they're coming out with also doing other lines like Thundercats made in the style of uh, Masters of the universe figures and whatnot. So yeah go over there and check them out man They are just it's called the Savage Kingdom line. They actually not only have um Savage Kingdom Thundercats, but also Savage Kingdom Universal Monsters like Freddy and Jason and that made in the Masters of the Universe mold. But yeah, go check out my friend um, Kevin at SEO Toy Reviews. He's doing coverage now from the 2018 New York Toy Fair. Um, so yeah, I think that needs to be checked out by all toy lovers out there. But now let's get into the um, 2015, these were labeled, um, Graphics Block Tech Block Kits. Um, I actually have two of the four here, as I said, and now let's get in and check them out. So yeah, um, I was able to get the display case here too as well. Um, the lady there at Dollar General was nice enough to let me have it. Um, you can see on the side there's four different kits that you can get. You can get the Dino Park one, the Metro Squad, um, the Coast Guard Search and Rescue there, as you can see. And also you can get Galactic Wars. And I love the names on these. These are just like kind of like... Um, little knockoff Legos because they don't have any brands that they're um, portraying, but they're trying to get at it because, you know, instead of Star Wars, we got Galactic Wars. Instead of Jurassic Park, we got Dino Park. So, yeah, they're their own brand from RMS International. Um, but, yeah, you know, they do have some licensed products, too, that I saw that are dispersed by graphics, but I'm not sure in these um, block tech um, block kits that there's anything. Um, that's actually licensed so they try to get you know close to other licensed products like dino park obviously jurassic park and star wars is obviously galactic wars um but i think they look very very cool we'll get into more on the packaging there um i do plan on picking the other two sets up as well if these are as cool as i think they are um but you see there they are compatible with other leading brands such as lego creo whatnot so that's cool i'm a big creo fan don't have much Lego, um, but I do have a lot of Mega Bloks stuff too, which these do not look like Mega Bloks figures in my opinion. They're Mega Bloks, in my opinion, have the best looking um, block figures that you can get or block kits that you can get. Um, just a little bit of a write up on these that I got offline. It says creativity meets inge ingenuity when kids sit down to build with block tech block kits. It says there's hours of fun to be had building and playing with these fun little kits. Plus, they can be mixed and matched to build your own creations. They are compatible with other leading brands of building blocks for even more creative options. It says it's perfect for stocking stuffers, party favors, and building block collectors. Um, everybody knows I'm a building block collector. I do a lot of building block um, opening and reviews here on my channel of uh, sets and stuff. Um, but I thought these would be very cool. So yeah, the box you can see looks the same on each side. And you can see actually on the front, Block Tech Block Kits. And it has the Collect Them All slogan there. So now, let's get in to check out the boxes here of each of these kits before I open them up and put them together. First of all, we have 
um, the Block Tech Dino Park set here. Um, and as you can see there, it says My Dinosaur. Very odd looking dinosaur too as well. But very close to something that uh, Creo or kind of close to one of the Beast Formers that they would have in the Creo, Creon Transformers Micro Changers line. I mean, you see there 25 blocks and instructions has that same deal on it where it says it's compatible with other leading brands. It says My Dinosaur 6 to 14 years. And the difficulty rating is at 1 there, 25 blocks once again. You see there Dino Park. It's not Jurassic Park. It's Dino Park. Um, but you see here, this is actually the front here because it has the slogan there. In the Jurassic Jungle lives the dinosaur. It says one model. And down low you have Wild Dino, 25 blocks instructions. So yeah, this is the front of the package with the slogan on it and whatnot. Kind of hard to tell though. You know, I guess, I guess either or could be the front. I guess this could be the back actually. I'm not sure. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, I'm guessing, you know, they don't even show you on there actually. So I would say this is the front. So I think I had it right. But nonetheless, um, you see underneath here your uh, graphics logo and your RMS International. And you see they're distributed there by Dollar General, these certain ones. I think they're at uh, Dollar Trees and other stores too, though, as I saw online. So there is the first set, the um, Block Tech by Dinosaur Dino Park block kit. And now, this was my favorite one that they had, and that's why I got these two. These were only a dollar a piece, by the way, so very affordable. Um, I just love the background and everything on this box. Um, but it's the Block Tech Galactic Wars Mini Fighter, which is pretty cool. And what's it say there? Color and content may vary from those illustrated figure not included. Oh, so I just now, huh. So we'll see if the figure is in there or not, but it looks like the figure is not included. So why would you have called this a mini fighter if the figure's not included? So I'm not sure. That's weird to see, though. 28 blocks. Instructions. Compatible with other leading brands. I'll be disappointed if we don't get the little guy. But Galactic Wars. That might be what you get for your money, though, you know. You're only paying a dollar. And here's the back. It says, all systems are green. Get ready for the chase. And down there it says, cool galactic fighter. So yeah, I might have to put a transformer on this thing to control it, but hopefully we get a little character in there. And this one has 28 blocks and it's a difficulty rating of 1 once again. So yeah, the character on there looking a lot like a Lego figure. So yeah, um, let me put the uh, camera to the side here and bust these both open and see what the contents inside look like. So bear with me here. It's very weird if they don't have the actual, you know, little figure in there too. Got some tape on the box here. I'm trying not to damage the box. Too bad. I'm putting them back in the display. Have it displayed like that. So a cool galactic fighter. So there's my instructions. So they weren't wrong about that. And yeah. There's no figure in there. So yeah, they make you think that you're going to get a cool little fighter that they put in the fine print there that you only get the vehicle. But nonetheless, you can always find a generic guy to ride it or whatever. Um, we're going to put that one together. So, instructions aren't too bad there. Hopefully, it's not too hard. I'm going to grab me a transformer too to put on there whenever I go to build these so we can have a guy riding it. And now, let me take apart the Wild Dino, as it says. Let me see, any fine print on this one? No. That's good. Um, so we got the Block Tech, My Dinosaur, Dino Park, Wild Dino here. And it looks like we got everything to make him. So... Uh, pick the camera back up here, guys. Um, check out the insides here. You get these bags, individually bagged, so you aren't going to have your blocks go flying everywhere when you open them up. 
has your warning on it and everything about suffocation and stuff. Which I think everybody knows about. But yeah, you don't get the little mini figure, so I'm going to have to um, construct a transformer, Creon transformer. That way we can see if these are compatible too. The blocks do not look like they're as high grade, definitely, as a lot of blocks, but we'll see. I guess they're not too bad. At first glance, they, I don't know, they just seem so much lighter. But, uh, maybe it's just in my head. I don't know, but this is the My Dinosaur one. And you see on the inside, you have your instructions here, which I'm going to use to build this. Um, strange dinosaur creature here. The wild dino, as they call it. And then my mini fighter, which is a fighter jet, I guess, of some sort. I thought it was going to be a guy with it too, but I guess not. Um, we're going to use these instructions here um, to put this one together. So yeah, bear with me guys, and when I'm back I'll have these put together. And we'll check out what the final products look, at, look like of the 2015 Block Tech Block Kits here. Uh, Galactic Wars and Dino Park. So yeah, bear with me guys. Okay everybody, so there we have it. Um, I picked up a uh, Creon Transformer uh, Perceptor here to ride on the Mini Fighter. Pretty badass. I would say it's a good addition to any of your Lego Star Wars stuff. Uh, definitely would fit right in. You could definitely put a Star Wars character on there and have him ride it. Um, no complaints on the building. Everything was there. Went together pretty easy. Um, it was a little deceptive at first, but once you get it started and start looking at the instructions, you can kind of tell um, the parts that they're talking about. But here on the back, you can even move these little deals here um, to the back or whatever if you want. I just knocked it off with one hand, sorry. But yeah, um, overall, these are made pretty good too because um, I thought at first, you know, they were made you know, cheaper than um, Legos and stuff. But in my opinion, since I picked up this Creon Transformer, um, the block material is pretty much the same. So yeah, I really like the green blasters there on the front. How uh, It's got a little uh, cockpit for him to sit in with the seat on the back. Um, as I said, I knocked one of those uh, little burners off the back. What I would figure they are. Um, but yeah, the uh, Mini Fighter... Pretty neat looking there, especially with uh, Perceptor there um, riding around on it. So, pretty cool. Um, definitely would fit right in with any of your Star Wars vehicles, in my opinion. And the blocks are made pretty well, in my opinion, like I said. So, I'm pretty happy with the Galactic Wars Mini Fighter. Um, and here is the Dino Park My Dinosaur. Very neat, too. And he's got these movable feet on each foot. On each leg, as I said. Um, but yeah, I mean, they fall apart pretty easy. Um, if you drop them or whatever, but that's any kind of Lego or Creo or any kind of building block form right there. But it's pretty easy. But the head on this thing looks pretty cool. So I got the wild dino put together. Looks just like he does on the packaging. So yeah, if all the blocks are there and it looks like it does on the packaging, I'm always um, happy about that. So very cool. Took one of the legs off again there. So yeah, you got to be careful because these legs come off rather easy, but they're easy to put back on too. So yeah, I'm very happy with the um, graphics block tech, Dino Park, and Galactic Wars block kits here. So yeah, guys, till next time, I appreciate everybody checking this out. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit the subscribe, drop a comment down below, and give this video a like. And yeah, I'm going to get those other two sets so we can check those out as well here soon. And so be on the lookout for all of that. But yeah, till next time, guys, I really appreciate the watch, as always. And until next time, thanks for watching, and peace out.